Please read the disclaimer. Hello and welcome, I'm Bio, and today we are looking at a Bio Classics. And today's Bio Classics is Driver for PlayStation 1. Oh, I have fond memories of this game. I have more fond memories of this game than I do of Driver 2. I did play some Driver 2, but... And Driver 2 is probably, arguably, the better game, but... I have much better memories with the original Driver. So... Yeah, it's a, you know, unfortunately the Driver series has kind of gone a bit downhill in recent years. Apparently Parallel Lines was pretty good, but I, I never got around to playing that one. Um, but I, I kind of stopped playing Driver after Driver 3, because Driver 3 is not good. It's not good. So, uh, yeah. This was uh, developed by Reflections Interactive, published by GT Interactive, and was released on June 30th, 1999 for America. In America, it's known as Driver, You Are the Wheelman, whereas in uh, Europe, it was uh, just simply called Driver, which is, I think, where the studio is originally based. So, yeah, the Reflection Studio, I think that's where they're originally based. But this was a, such a great game. You like, you had this big open world, and I know, like, it, a lot of people were, like, would look at this nowadays and probably say, "Ah, oh, it's like GTA." It is kind of like like modern GTA, and even Driver Two, even more so. Which, you could even say they took inspiration, but, um... Take a ride. Well, I'm just gonna take a ride, so... Don't have all the areas unlocked, but it's fine. We'll go in Miami. And we'll drive during the day. But basically, you can... Basically, the game has its missions, go and do this and do that. But what I, the, the mode I played the most was take a drive. Just go out, drive around, get into mischief... And just uh, have a good old time. So you had a... If we show map. You had this massive map. We're currently here. We see the little glowing dot. Or a white dot. 
But you had this massive map where you can drive around. And it felt massive, by the way. It felt really, really big. And you had, like, four different maps that you could play on. And you're driving in this car. And the driving just feels really, really good. It felt real... Well, back then, it just felt really, really good. And the whole entire point is to drive around however you see fit, really. And, uh... Avoid the police. But you can get into police chases if you wish. It's completely up to you. But, th like I said, back in the day, like, the driving just felt really, really good. Like, the, dr the drifting, everything. Just feels really, really good. We're going to go and cause issues for this uh, police officer. There we go. Get him to chase us. is behind us. Was... But look at this. It's just the whole entire world. Every... It felt like such a big scale back in the day when you were originally playing it. Like, there was no other game that you could say had as big a scale as this. Boom! Smash that car. Cause damage to ours. You get the old police chasing you. Another police car coming at you. Completely missing the mark. Well, that was the whole... Like, this is this this is how I played the game as a kid. I did play quite a bit of the uh, of the missions, don't get me wrong, but this was the main main part of the game for me. It was, uh... This was the main... This was the main game for me. Just going around... Like running away from cops. This was the entire game. But the car controls just feel really, really good. It just feels really, really good to play. The controls, everything. And as you can see, if you compared this to, like, modern-day GTA, it is kind of like that, in a way. In a way, obviously. Kind of compare it to GTA 3 a little bit. I would say the driving in this is better than GTA 3, if I'm honest with you. It feels more fluid. It feels like you got more control. It feels more grounded, the driving in this, than it is in... Uh than it does in GTA 3. You probably could say they fixed the driving. In, um... You could say they fixed it in GTA, uh... Vice City. Nice try, copper! Obviously, when the damage is all done. Oh, God. Our damage is so, so close to the impact that, uh, more than likely... Wrecked your car, busted. Wrecked your car, busted. Fantastic. And as you can see, there are pedestrians in the game. There aren't that many, but there are some. We're gonna I'll have a little go on the other map as well. But this was this was this was driver for me. Just driving around. I spent hours just driving around. The controls just for the for the driving, really, really good. Really, really nice. Always press to do it in day. Nighttime just feels dark. <laughs> just for dark, I mean, fucking hours, nighttime, isn't it? Ah, oh, just this, oh, the nostalgia. This just brings back so much good memories. But yeah, like I said, the the, the driving controls are fucking great in this game. And like I said, you eat, like here we go. Different car in uh, on the different map, and I think each map gives you a different car you drive, and they do have slight differences in how they control. In Driver Two, you can get out the car and and basically steal other people's cars, just like Grand Theft Auto. Funny enough. So I honestly do believe they took a lot of inspiration from uh, from the Grand Theft Auto series. Like, if I pause the game and show you the map for this game, look at the map for this one. Look at it. Look at the map. It's huge. Absolutely huge. And don't get me wrong, it is mostly just uh, big, long roads, but still. I just, oh, I just love this game so much. 
so good. It's like the other thing that I loved, and I, I, I guarantee you a Fraps channel will be watching this video and he'll be like, oh, I love Driver, I remember Driver. It's like you can actually see the damage on your car as well. That was another thing. You had the reflections on the cars. You can see the reflections going on. You had the fucking, that you could, the damage appear on the car. It's like there were so many things that this game had going for it that no other game at the time you could honestly say had going for it. And like I said, combined with the driving controls being really, really good, it seems like there's a little bit of a frame drop here and there. That, that's just more than likely the emulator. Just, it was like one of the most perfect, like, not even, it's not a racing game, but perfect driving games around. It was just so good. It felt so good to play. Like, the car sounds were... Oh, fucking fucked up that turret. Yeah, dodge those cars, copper. Oh god, I didn't even see that copper come out of there. I guess we're going this way then. Oh, we can go in here. <laughs> Try and get me now, copper. You would. They'll struggle to even get in here. But that's the thing, you could have these little secret things where you could go in here to try to lose the coppers, because, yeah, they don't know how to get in here. They can't figure it out. And then more than likely on the other side of here, there's an exit. I highly doubt there's just one way in, one way out. Oh no, maybe there is only one way in, one, in, one way out. Oh, and there we go. But you see the smoke coming off the car? Like, I feel like a lot of mechanics that GTA 3 had, they took from this game. They took from Driver 1 and 2. They had to. But I still stand by, I think the driving in this and Driver 2 is better than, uh, the driving in GTA 3, but probably Vice City's better. Yeah, destructible boxes and shit. It's just there's so many things happening in this game that just made like made it stand out for me as a kid. Part cars. I don't know. I don't know if that is a part car. Could be just a car that copper smashed into. But damn it, this the memories just flooding in for this game. It's just crazy. Oh. Another police officer. He does not like that. Oh, and he kind of fucked himself. We lost him. It's going to be we lost him. Watch. When'd you miss me, copper boy? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. I am the wheel man. Look at me go. Like I said, the game did have music, but the music was a little bit weird. Like, I can hear it going now, and it's just a bit strange. Oh god, smash straight into that pole. Run that person over. You couldn't run anybody over in this game. They just they just run out of the way. Fantastic. <laughs> coppers don't care, they're just smashing everyone. Everyone gets smashed in the coppers eyes. Everyone smashed, everyone. Just smash into each other. Fantabuloso. Let's go. Car pretty much on the verge of collapse. We'll stop playing when the car's damage is uh, full. Come on, tram! A straight and narrow. Go, 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 driver man. Oh, here we go. He's gonna try. Oh, he missed. He hesitated, you see that? He hesitated, 100%. Nice, long straight here. A little bit, a little bit of air. Copper is trying to get up to me. Hey, oh, he nudged me. Oh god, going too fast. Trap! Wrecked. Wrecked. <laughs> film director. And that's the thing, oh yeah, I forgot there's the film director. You can go into this like mode where you can kind of just like look at you playing the game, like a replay, but change the camera angles, slow down time and shit. Oh, I've got to show you this. This shit's cool as. Come on, let's go into film director. Here we go. So you just have it going. And then you can like pause it there. Uh, auto director, here you go. So just, I'll let the auto director go for it. 
So it just changes different things. You can basically watch a replay of you playing, but the camera angles change. Does different look like see look does different things, change the perspective. Of you driving. This I forgot that the game had this feature. This feature's fucking awesome. I remember playing around with this and creating like cool ass driving movies with this game. Come up with like a little story. My name is, my name is Brent Dickinson. And I am the wheelman. It is my job, my dictatorship, to complete a mission as fast as possible. But there's one problem with that. Coppers. They've got the license and registration for this car. It's stolen. And they fucking hate me. Because they don't like some dick in their son. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> I used to create like stupid ass fucking like movie things with uh, with this film with this film director thing. I forgot this was a feature in the game. I completely forgot. And you could like do different things like fast forward like fast forward to a different part, add a camera, ch add a camera, a chase camera, and then you could uh, yeah chase camera and you can move the camera. Like here, in the car, try button, then go OK, and then play. Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. You could just create your own like little movies and shit, where you like pick a camera angle, and that's where the camera is. You see the old coppers going up behind you. Oh, this game! This game was fucking legendary back when I was a kid. It was fucking so many hours sunk in, just pissing about and fucking take a drive. Like, I never finished the game, by the way. Never finished this game, because I think I got to a mission that was, like, too, kind of too difficult. But I played more of Take a Drive, just pissing about, than I did playing the actual game, the actual main campaign, undercover mode. So, but yeah. We'll call it there for Driver. Really good game. Really fun game, back when I was a kid. Instant classic. Really good. Um, I've been Bio. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.